Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a chatty financial type video. This is going to be my second update for my kind of debt-free low buy journey for 2021. Uh, if you guys, this is the first video you're watching from me in regards to this topic. I paid off, um, I don't remember how it happened, but last year in 2020, towards the end of 2020, um, I paid off about seven or eight thousand dollars. I think I had in debt, uh, in just credit card debt. And um, I have another uh, personal loan that I wanted to work with uh, and pay it off in 2021. I was just kind of writing the the coattails up. Is that what how you say it? <laughs> uh, of um, that momentum that I had from. Um, paying off that previous debt. So I was really motivated to just get out of debt. Um, I had been watching a lot of videos uh, in 2020 in regards to lowering your debt. You know, a lot of people were hit very strongly financially in 2021, 2020 because of the pandemic. And so me being a nurse, I never had that problem, thank God. But um, I realized that I wasn't really doing anything with my money. Um, so I realized that I needed to really put a break into this whole beauty thing uh, where I was spending a lot of money on and really just focus on paying off some stuff. So anyway, for 2021, I had a personal loan of 11,000. Oh, disclaimer. In this video, we talk about money. If you don't like talking about money, if it makes you uncomfortable, if, if money talk makes you gives you any kind of negative connotation towards it um just don't watch this video because we're going to talk a lot about money <laughs> so this is not to be meant to be braggy it just it, it i like to i personally like to see figures it like real figures and numbers um so that's what i'm putting out because that's what i like to see so anyway uh the loan that i was trying to that i'm trying to pay off in 2021 is uh eleven thousand dollars three hundred and sixteen dollars that's what i started with and this is a personal loan. It's a line of credit that I got through my bank. Um, this is, believe it or not, not all of it, but part of it was for a loan that I took out to fix a car that I had. Um, I used to drive uh, about four, three, four years ago, I used to drive a BMW. And those cars are pretty expensive to fix and maintain just overall. And... Um, the AC crapped out, and so I had to fix that, and that cost me about $5,000. Um, and it's frustrating to me that I'm still paying for that even though I don't have that car anymore. So that is, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I decided to get rid of the car. But anyway, uh, as of last update, my last update was in February, because we're in April, so I'm doing it every other month. So my last update, I had I had paid out about thirty five hundred dollars or so. Uh, I went down from eleven thousand to eight thousand dollars, and I am happy to report that as of now I owe twenty eight hundred dollars. So I am very very happy. Let me show you guys the graph. You guys know I can show a nice fancy graphic. But I don't know how to do that <laughs> so on the computer so I do it on paper I don't mind it at all it looks pretty to me but yeah for my first update I paid off everything that was in blue and for this update I have paid out everything that is in pink so I started up here $7,900 and now I am down to here I actually owe uh, 2860 uh, so that's why it's kind of like in the middle of the two lines but that is almost approximately $5,000 that I paid off. If I remember correctly, $5,040, yes. Um, and I was able to pay that in the last two months. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how did you, where did you get this money? I'm gonna tell you guys. So, uh, like I just said, I paid, a, I paid off uh, $5,040. The first big, big chunk that came out of that $5,000 was, as you guys know, I started a new job back in November and I got a sign-on bonus. And the first, it's gonna be paid off, paid out every three months for the next um, two years, because it is a two-year contract. So every quarter I get paid, every quarter of the year that I've been employed there, 
um, I get paid. So my first quarter was in January, but I didn't. It didn't get paid off until February. So in February, I got the first chunk of it, and I gave all of it down to. I gave all of it towards this loan. So I got that. Then um, from my income tax, I got a really healthy income tax this year. Um, somehow I, I gave a lot of donations in 2020. Um, so all those, I didn't even feel it, probably because I didn't do anything in 2020, <laughs> like travel wise, and that's probably where I had the extra money, I don't know. But anyway, I gave a lot of donations, turns out. And so I got a good income, that was a, probably like a couple, th a couple thousand dollars. Um, so I gave that, um, my income tax refund, I gave that towards this um, debt that I have, this loan. And then um, I signed up for my Allstate DriveWise like app thing. If you guys have Allstate insurance, it's this program where if you, it's like you download the app and then the app automatically turns on. I don't know how it senses that you're driving and um, you get points and depending on how good you drive, you get cash back every six months. So I got my, my second paycheck um, this month and it was $130. So, well, I had it like 25 or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but um, that little bit that I got, I gave it to the, <laughs> to the, to the loan. Plus I, I gave a, any little bit extra that I had from paychecks, I gave it to, um, towards this loan. So all those little things uh, came out to $5,040. Um, unfortunately, I am paying interest on this loan. So at the end of this whole 2021 journey, I'm gonna calculate exactly how much I paid it on interest, uh, cause it's gonna be interesting to see. I think my interest rate is like 6%, 6 or 7%, I think, I think. So don't quote me on that for sure, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So if you guys have Austin insurance and you're not enrolled in that DriveWise, get it. I know it might seem like a hundred bucks for six months, like it's not a lot of money, but you guys, you don't do anything other than drive and you get money back. It doesn't matter how much, um, like you're not gonna stop working just by getting that app downloaded, you know, but it's nice, nice extra like pocket money that you did nothing extra for. You know what I mean? So that's my spiel on that. So uh, last month I talked about maybe doing a budget for the month. I didn't do that. <laughs> um, so I didn't do any makeup purchases or any skincare or beauty purchases. Uh, although I really was tempted to buy a few things during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. But if you guys have been here with me for a while, I have this thing where I buy stuff but I just set it aside so I can use whatever I'm using. Like, I don't like to have everything open just because in my mind, that's when things start going bad. So I don't like to open and use things until I'm ready to like commit to them. So um, I knew that if I bought stuff, I was just gonna buy it and have it sit there and that's not what I want. So I didn't buy anything though. Some things were tempting me. Um, I did though, I did spend about $120 on books. <laughs> um, I just like to read and I know I can go to the library and I can use the app and everything, but I just, I like the look of physical books in my home. Like I like to have a shelf full of books and I like giving books away that I don't like. I, I just, I like that. I have, I'm a, wor I'm a work in progress, you guys. I'm a work in progress. Hopefully I'll get better at it, but I did spend quite a bit of money. If you guys wanna help my book buying addiction, you can sign up <laughs> for Book Outlet. Shameless promotion here. Uh, and then I get a credit and then I don't spend money and I get books for free. But anyway, um, so that's that. I did spend a lot of money on books. Um, I also had to do some just routine maintenance on my truck. So that's something that I, I had to do. I have to, you know, maintain my truck. Otherwise it's worse for me in the long run. And then um, I did have to buy a computer charger. <laughs> that's the reason why I haven't posted videos because my computer was completely dead because the charger didn't work. Like my charger is completely like fried. Hold on. So this is what my old charger looks like. First of all, on this part right here, can you guys even see like 
the wiring is all exposed but I don't know if you, you, you can't see it because my phone doesn't autofocus, but it's, um, it's like all frayed, right? The little, the cables here. And then also on the other side, <laughs> it's even worse. Um, and it's been like this for about a year after it's been putting off buying a new charger because like sometimes I could twist it like, like in a certain way and then it'll it would work and then after that stopped working i would put a book on top <laughs> to create some weight and kind of like angle it and then it would work but then i was like what if it like i don't know starts sparking or something and it catches on fire and the book is paper and then the whole house burns down so then i started using a as a weight i started using a a little blue wireless bluetooth speaker that i have i started putting this on top until I couldn't position this in any way, shape, or form that it would charge my laptop. So <laughs> I didn't have a laptop for a couple of days until I got the charger in the mail. But finally, uh, since you're watching this video, that means I got my charger. <laughs> so um, there's something um, that I would, that I'm thinking for future purchases that I would like to do. I don't know if it's in the budget, um, but I think I'm gonna hold off on them because I feel like they're just luxuries that they can wait for now. The first thing are my running shoes. I haven't purchased any running shoes. If you guys were with me last update, um, I got scammed uh, buying some shoes online. I was able to get my money back, but I never really purchased another pair of running shoes. I've been running with my old running shoes uh, that are about a year old. And last year I did, I wanna say about 10 races virtually. So my shoes are pretty worn out. Um, they hurt my feet. They hurt my ankles, um, my knees hurt when I run. Um, they don't fit quite well anymore because my toenails are pulling off now. It could have been just because I was running a lot, but um, I haven't really run this year. I did run for the month of March. Uh, I did a virtual run uh, that lasted the whole month. It was a total of 45 miles. Um, and yeah, I definitely need new running shoes, but again, I feel like that's a luxury. I could just keep working out at the gym uh, and like now do cardio for the next couple of months. And then, I don't know, we'll see. First world problems, I understand that. And then um, I wanna redo uh, some back, some lighting in my backyard. I have some, I ha when I first purchased this home, I purchased like some cheapy solar panel uh, backyard lighting, like it charges with the, with the sunlight here in, Texas, we get sunlight like 330 days out of the year. <laughs> so uh, electric, um, solar electricity, that doesn't, that solar power is, um, is very popular here because we get sun like all day long, every day. <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to redo, buy some really good quality solar light lighting um, for the backyard, uh, just for like the days when I'm out and about for long periods of time and it gets dark and the dogs are outside. I don't want them to be in the dark. Um, I work hard to give my dogs the backyard they deserve. <laughs> so um, yeah, I would like to get like nice lighting, but then again, I feel like that's more of a luxury. I think that can wait until I'm done, finish off the last $3,000 that I have. However, uh, in the next couple of months, so before my next update, I really don't think I can have this finished paid off uh, just because there's no like extra cash coming in from anywhere. Um, there's no uh, stimulus check. There's no income tax return. There's no uh, bonus payout from, from work. I think my next one, uh, it's a February, March, April. So it'll be until May, um, the next paycheck that I get. The next, is it April? It is. So. Oh, well, maybe because my next update is in June. So maybe I'll get, um, I'll be able to have that. I don't know. We'll see if that, that chunk comes in. But um, yes, I have about, um, I want to say 3000 just because they charge me, they do charge me interest, like I said. So I don't know, guys, we'll see if I finish coloring the rest of the graph. That is what this looks like right here. This chunk right here and this little bit here. I don't know. Can I pay it off by the next update? That would be amazing because then that would mean I paid almost $20,000 in a year. That's crazy. That's, that's really, really crazy. So anyway, 
that is what this looks like guys i hope you guys enjoyed and this motivated you if you're on a journey of a low buy debt free paying off whatever um it's really motivating to see for me to see other people accomplish their goals and paying off everything um so that's what's motivating me so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick update thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye